In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to capture your screen, make tutorials and how to edit the videos in the editing software that is completely free. Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Jay. I make music production tutorials on YouTube on mixing and mastering. Consider subscribing and click that post notification so that you get notified every single time I upload a brand new video. In this video, I'm going to be focusing on how we capture our software for music production so you can just apply the same techniques to anything else that you're doing and it will work pretty much the same. Go into the description of this video and download these two softwares. The first software is called OBS. I'll put it on top. So OBS is this software that you're seeing here, software that we use to capture the screen and it's completely free. So follow the link and download it. Then download the second software, which is CapCut, which is the video editing software that we're going to be using and install. All right, assuming that you've downloaded the softwares now, Let's say back here, this is whatever it is that you're doing. You want to show something in your tutorial right here. You need to start OBS. Let's do a few settings to make sure that everything is perfect. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do is set a folder where we want our videos to be saved. So if I come to settings down here, I can go to output, I can select a folder that I want all the recorded videos to go. So if I click on browse, you can see that it goes to videos then there's a folder called obs recordings this is where i store all my recordings from obs so just select that and select the folder so this means you've set that as your default folder all your recordings will be going into that folder so click apply then okay once that is done let's take a look at our output and uh, input signal for the microphone so if you take a look at this you can see that my microphone is moving here showing that there is actually uh, something coming in so in order for you to set you can click there and go to properties so under properties this is where you select the device so if i click on this you can see that it gives me two options of the microphones that can help me so i'm using a sound this sound card here which is what's working right now then this microphone is the inbuilt microphone on my laptop so this means that I just need to select my sound card because my microphone is connected to my sound card. I've also set my sound card to be my, my default device for the entire computer right here. So I'll just leave it at default and click OK. Then go to the output properties. My output is sent to my audio interface. So select your audio interface or if it's just PC speakers, select PC speakers or default if you have nothing going into the PC and click OK. So when you come to the microphone here and go to advanced audio properties, you see this pop up. So make sure that you select mono here for the microphone because most of the times you find that it will be playing only on the left side of your speakers or left side of your headphones, whichever you're using. So make sure you click mono on your microphone and leave the output here just like that on uh, balanced stereo. Once you are set with your microphone, you can see it here and you've set your output. You've also set your folder where everything is going to be going. Now it's time to almost get started with recording. So you can see what is called sources right here come to add down here so what i'm trying to add is a display capture i'll add display capture here and click ok it will show me my screen this is exactly what i need and i'll click ok and you can see it inside here so now if let's say you've got a camera that you've connected to your computer or you've got your webcam you can simply come back here and add video capture device so if you click that uh, click ok and you can see so my webcam is messed up it doesn't show much there and just click ok then you set it here and you can actually set the size like that or where you want to put it so that uh, the people that will be watching can actually see you you can move it around during or before the video you can do this all the time Let's say, for example, you are recording your video in the background, but if you notice on the screen of OBS, OBS itself can't be seen. So whatever it is that I'm doing here, if I'm recording, it won't be recorded in whatever is happening here. I can come back here and move. It will only be shown that it's moving, but OBS itself won't be captured. But in this case, I don't have a camera, so I don't need it here. I'll just remove. 
So at this point, if you're enjoying the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it helps the channel grow. If you're new to the channel, subscribe and click the post notification bell so that you get notified the next time I post another amazing video. Everything is said, we just need to record. So this is where you record from. Start recording. I'll click this. So this is basically what's going on. I'll just click that and start uh, doing whatever it is that I'm doing here. Probably load up a plugin. Okay, I can load this plugin here. Let me even play this so that you see that the output is working. Once I'm done recording, I can just come back to OBS and stop recording. For those of you that do music in your door right here, uh, if you go to, for example, audio devices where you set your sound card and stuff, if you set something like ASIO or something, these drivers are usually selfish. So they won't allow your recording device to also get some sound or maybe, so you find that you'll be recording and you won't be getting maybe the output. So the microphone might be there, but the output may not be there. I found that if I put this FL Studio as you hear, it kind of allows me to have sound both in the door and on the recording software. Just try to find a driver that allows you to have both. All right, I think that's the most important things here. Let's now see the video that we recorded. So if you remember, my output folder is in videos, then OBS recording. So if I double click this, the video should be the last one here. So I'll click this video and let's see what's inside up a plugin okay i can load this plugin to see that the so you can see that we have all the sounds in this video right here that we we recorded let's now move on to how to edit this video in case you want to write something on this you want to zoom some points let me show you how to do that so for now we are done with obs right so i'll simply just remove it from my screen and let's open CapCut, assuming that you've installed already all right so when CapCut opens this is the first screen that we see here so i'll just click on create so i'll go to the folder where i have the video and simply just drag it into there so this is the video here so if i've recorded a number of takes i'll drag them and drop them all here then i'll just push it all the way down here this is the screen where we see the video and this is where we edit from so this screen can be you can make it bigger if you want to and this is where we edit and cut the video so one thing that i would advise you to do is just explore and see how these things work search for CapCut on youtube and see how it works so i'm just going to show you quick the basics so you can do a lot of things in here so let's say for example i can simply cut here split let's say i don't want this part here i can do that let's say i want to zoom at that point i can come to the point where the plugin comes in then i'll simply click on transform and i create a, uh, this keyframe here and i can move this and create another keyframe at a point that i want the zooming to stop so then I'll, I'll push the scale here you can see that and i can move this keyframe closer so when i play this you can see that and if you want to take it back to where it was just create a keyframe and another keyframe just take it back for example to 100 percent it goes back to where it was you can even drag it like that that also works so to add your text you can come here and drag text right there there you can add your title and change the type of the text for example so we can say obs for example that's our title then i can come to these types of text maybe set it to this or this or that and zoom whichever works put it where i want it to be then make sure i set where i want the text to start and stop like that i can also drag this text to wherever i want after you're done you simply just export and give it a name whatever it is then you set the folder here where you want these to be saved 
and click export it will start exporting 